Hello there. Today I'm going to talk about four different types of copper that I've used over the years in the proper places where they should be used. We'll clear up these two first. Uh, this is DWV and it has the yellow painting on the yellow color and DWV stands for drainage waste and vent. I was used in a lot of uh, buildings, especially apartment buildings, where PVC wasn't uh, wasn't a fire rated product and now is so they're doing away with DWV as far as installation wise the cost of it is exceptionally higher than the PVC fittings um, our next is type K this is uh, has the green color and I've installed that on medical airlines since uh, the cost of it is quite high, what uh, a lot of people will do is put in type L, but there's certain applications where type K should be installed, in my opinion, as far as industrial buildings where water is used in large amounts and there's a steady flow, um, which will deteriorate the copper pipe. And they have systems out now, such as a T-pool system, where you drill a hole in that pipe um, it would pull up a 3 16th ridge you'd stick a piece of uh, copper there and silver solder it there's two dimples which prevents it from going into the pipe itself but it removes the the uh, I guess you would say the integrity it ruins the integrity of the pipe and therefore it will break down a whole lot faster than it would would under uh, normal circumstances where there was a regular T installed in that system. But type K should be used as far as I'm concerned in industrial, all industrial buildings and medical gas they've since changed to type L for that past number of years. The most popular of the, the copper pipe that people use today is type L which is blue. This is actually kind of a purplish blue but anyway the coloring on it should be blue and uh, I'm looking for it here this piece is, is cut it doesn't have the type L all of it if you followed the copper along would have type L on the pipe itself but look for the blue coloring the other one is type M and there's type M I'm not sure if you can see that or not it's actually red in color the labeling on it and uh, that is strictly used, should strictly be used for heating systems. It kind of bothers me considerably when I walk into a home that's worth two, three, four hundred thousand dollars and uh, this pipe is ran throughout the house for the water lines and in, I've, I've seen situations where in 15, 20 years you have to remove this copper reinstall other copper because of its um, its thickness where type L and I know it is a cost to the homeowner but type L copper is considerably thicker than type M it does cost more so you know there's always a reason for it but it lasts much longer um, if you take all three together you can actually see these are cut ends and you can see where type M is thinner and then L and K. K, that's not going to be going, I don't think, in too many houses. The cost of it is exceptionally uh, high and it's really not required. But when you're doing a remodeling uh, job or building a new home, go with type L. Save yourself the headache in the not too distant future of having to change your water lines and sometimes that entails tearing ceilings down, tearing walls out to uh, replace this. So type M is strictly used for heating, should be strictly used for heating. It can be used for water lines but I never use it. It's just not not in my ballpark. Uh, type L is the way to go does cost more money but if you're building a home I wouldn't think twice about it it's the only route to go have a great day